Today I'm going to show you how to change the front pads and rotors on this 2015 uh, Volkswagen Passat. Um, now this particular model does not come with the electronic wear sensor. So it is recommended that you get maybe a European brand of rotors and pads. So I've already taken out the wheels. I'm going to assume you know how to jack up the car. Uh, of course be sure to use jack stands. So we took off the wheels already and here is we're on the passenger side. We will um, open the brake reservoir here. So leave it open. Pry off the anti-rattling clip with either a pry tool or a flathead screwdriver. So, uh, before we forget, uh, let's just spray some brake cleaner on there. Clear some of the dust. Now we're going to use this 6 inch C-clamp to just compress the uh, piston all the way in. So you can just spin it slowly until um, the piston is all the way uh, pushed in. Now here on inside you can see that there is a cover for the guide pins the it's going to be a seven millimeter hex here's the top one and then there's going to be another one down here so take off the cover and you're going to loosen it okay so just use a flathead screwdriver and then just pry it off And there is another one. This is the bottom one. Then we will just use a 7 millimeter hex. So um, we put the hex wrench in there and now if you need a little bit more leverage use a little um, pipe or something just to extend it. So you can loosen it and break it just like that. That's the bottom one and then we'll, after we loosen that, we'll go to the top one. So these are what the guide pin, uh, what they look like. Now, once you take those two bolts off, uh, just be careful that the uh, caliper just doesn't drop. So here we'll just have a little bungee cord here just to hold it up. Pry the inner brake pad from the caliper and as you can see here there is no electronic wear sensor for this particular car. So we're going to have to take off these two uh, brackets or carrier bolts. They're 21 millimeters. One's right there and then there's the top one right there. Okay so now the bracket is going to be taken off. Here. Now there's one screw. Uh, this is a T30 that's holding the disc or the rotor on. So we'll just take that one off. Okay, now that we took off the rotor, we'll just clean all this mounting surface area right here we'll just use a uh, some sort of wire brush just to clean all the little rust off here we'll just clean all the little rust off here and once that rust is off we'll just use some brake clean just clean the rest off With this particular rotor you don't have, there's no Cosmoline, it's already been coated already so you don't have to clean it off. But 
depending on what type of rotors you have, you may have to clean it with brake clean, uh, especially if it has cosmoline on it. So be sure to clean the carrier. Um, you can use a little brake uh, dust cleaner and just brush it off. So you're gonna put the two bolts in the carrier. So here's the bottom one and the top bolt is back in. Grease the area where the pads will be gliding on the caliper bracket as shown. So we got the new uh, pads and the new pads has this uh, wear sensor so we're probably just going to cut it off. Push the pad with the clips into the piston. The other pad will go on the outside of the bracket. Now if it's hard for the caliper to go in, it's probably the piston is still um, still out a little bit. You just have to push the piston back in. To compress the piston, use a C-clamp and the old brake pad. You will put the brake pad on top of the newer brake pad so you don't damage it when you're compressing the piston. Sure, the brake line here is uh, straight. Don't um, twist it or bind it. And as you can see here, the um, caliper is back in. So now we'll just uh, put the guide pins in the back. So there should be two guide pins. Okay, let's see here. And there's one of the guide pins. That's the one on the bottom. And then there's one more on top. And we'll just tighten those. So now that the uh, guide pin bolts are in, we will just put the dust cap on both of them. So these are the anti-rattle clips. Uh, you're gonna put it in. It's gonna be a little difficult trying to put that in. So I'll show you what it's supposed to look like afterwards. So this is what it's supposed to look like. Um, there's the top part of the spring and this is the bottom part. So what I normally do is uh, I'll first start with this portion then go make sure it comes down here and then the next thing I do is I'll put this one in and then you just pry this one, um, this top portion and just try to get it back here. Um, just make sure it sits just like that. Um, double check to make sure that it's holding it in. But uh, that portion is done. Uh, it might take you a little bit of time just to uh, to do that. So it'll be a little difficult. So we'll put the wheel back on. And then you will work on the other side. So once you've completed both sides, now you are done. So don't forget to... Uh, close the uh, reservoir the brake reservoir cap right here so we'll close that one really tight and before you start driving you want to pump the brakes maybe about five to ten times if you forget that if you get to pump the brakes what's going to happen is that there's going to be no pressure in the brake system and then your brakes is not going to work so do not forget to pump the brakes